Hey guys, welcome. Thanks for tuning in. We're just re getting ready to get started here. We had one team that was not paid for, so if anybody's interested, the Cleveland Indians are up. You guys can just make us an offer. Uh, if no one's interested, then we'll just keep it, but uh, chime in with the chat and let us know what you think. Yep, and then we'll just go live auction style. If, if uh, whoever makes the first offer, if someone wants to bid on it, uh, go ahead. If not, then uh, you know we can keep them too. Uh, we don't want to keep you waiting too long today. It is Friday. There's live baseball on TV. Everyone's fiending for a little action here, so uh, we'll get going here as soon as possible. We'll let some people populate in here too as we go. If you're just new here, we're, we are... Uh, we, we have one team available, it's the Indians. We didn't get payment in time, so if anyone's interested, go ahead and make an offer. Hey, William. Hey, William, what's up, man? Hope you're having a good Friday. Hope you're as excited as we are that baseball is on and it counts. Yeah, baby. So excited. How's the audio feed for everybody? You guys able to hear okay? You know, obviously the picture is going to get a lot better when we move these boxes out of the way of the camera. You'll be able to see better, but... Um Sweet, William. Thanks for, for getting in on this. We always have a good time. We like a lot of chat, so we appreciate you being here. Kale said he'd put a, a couple bucks on the Indians. Does anybody... Anyone want to do more than two bucks? If not, man, we'll just... Uh... I think they went for like 10.47 or something in the auction, but um, it's fine. We're, we're, we said we'd do it, so so we're at two bucks on the Indians. Anyone want to... It's There's no shipping charge. It'll go with whatever you you want. Unless, of course, you're just watching the video and you're not in the auction already. Um, there is a $4.99 uh, shipping charge, and that's for all your cards. So, uh, yeah, if you're just on here and you want to get get in on the action, the Indians are available right now. The bidding's at $2. Um, I'm going to set a timer, and uh, we'll put it at two minutes. And if nobody bids before that, then we'll go with 2 bucks and... Uh, that's just what we'll do, and we'll and we'll roll and start breaking these bad boys. Who's your guys' teams today, both in the break, and who do you guys like? Any young players you're excited to watch? You know, I didn't know if it was, you know, when I first started seeing how hot all of these rookies were, I didn't know if it was just a lot of hype because of COVID and there wasn't anything else to think or talk about. But after looking over some of the stats, some of the numbers these guys put up in the minor leagues and, and many of them have even partial seasons in the major leagues, there are some Cardinals dudes. all day. Yeah, dude, Luis Robert is the man. I agree. He's uh, he's exciting as can be to, to watch, and hopefully we pull some some cool cool of his cards today too. Yeah, we'd love to see some some Luis. We just like to Lewis. see big stuff, man. We, we this is fun for us, and it's fun to to pull some some heat for you guys and get excited, and it's a lot of it's a lot of fun. like we have about 20 seconds left if anybody wants the Cardinals for more than two otherwise Kale will get the Cardinals for two 
it seems like every time we have a team that goes for live auction an autograph or that team pops up. <laughs> yeah, no, I think you're in pretty good shape if you can if you can keep that bid, Kale, because it does seem like when somebody doesn't pay, that, that team always hits. All right, boys, it looks like we're out of time. So, Kale, unless that last message there was right before the buzzer, unless that's a bid, then you got it for two bucks, man. Um, if you could just... Uh, if you could just um, shoot that payment over to the PayPal, uh, it's Richard underscore at all at yahoo.com. And uh, Ed's going to put it in the, um, in the chat here. If you could just send that over. Um, we're, we're not going to wait too long for it. We'll just get going and we'll trust you. If we don't get it, you know, before the end of the break, then we'll just keep it. Um, no big deal. But thanks for, thanks for feeling, guys. Appreciate it. Um, let's get this thing started. Yeah, thank you guys. We're excited to open these cards up. Hopefully we'll get something super exciting for you. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I, so hopefully you guys can see these. I'm going to go ahead and push them back so I have some room to work here at least a little bit. And uh, we'll get after it. We got the one touches ready for all this fire we're about to, to hit. So um, good luck to everybody. Let's keep the chat going. It's fun for us. We enjoy it. That's probably our favorite part of all this is the chat and talking baseball and sports and seeing how you guys are doing and all of that. Yeah, Chris, the, looking at Luis Robert's build, he looks. He reminds me a lot of Acuna Jr., which is never a bad comparison. And No, not at all. He can move. He can hit for power. He's... A phenomenal young athlete. Yeah, he is unbelievable. Junior Fernandez. Um, I ro usually roll through these pretty quick, guys. I, I'll give you the some of the chromes and some of the ro rookies, probably. Braylon Marquez, Cardino. And uh, sometimes the rookies are some of the bigger stars, but we're just going to roll through the chrome and the base. If you haven't seen much of this product, just so you guys know, um, the, the base packs are literally base packs. You have no chance at any of the subsets or... Uh, numbered cards or anything like that in this part. There's a Gonsolin and a Chang. Who, Chang hit some bombs in spring, or the summer camp, I guess they're calling it. Um, Josiah Gray and Ruben Cardenas versus Bowman. Zach Gallen. There's Munoz. That guy's got ridiculous stuff. But there's no, there's no refractors or anything. Just so you guys understand, while we're rolling through these packs, there's not really any chance for that. We're just looking for basically... Um, you know, some of the first Bowmans and, and star power, you know, maybe the Wits and the Dominguez and stuff. Xavier Edwards is supposed to be good. Cardenas first Bowman. What do you guys think of uh, Dustin May last night? He was unbelievable. Oscar Gonzalez. Let me see. There's Trout. Yeah, he has a rookie card in this set. So it yeah. doesn't hurt anybody's feelings to see these young guys do really well. He's pumping 100 miles an hour in the third inning. was pretty impressive. Blake Rutherford, Casas. Yeah, Kale, we're, we're pretty excited about Wander Franco, too, as everybody is, the number one prospect in baseball. But <laughs> it'll, yeah. it'll be fun to get to see him play. Yeah. If you guys haven't broke with us, I know we have quite a few guys that have, but if you haven't before, typically what we do with these Mega Box breaks is we save for the, the Mojo Refractors to the very end. If there's a big upheaval and you guys don't want to do that, just let us know. We can do it however you want, but we usually like to build up and uh, and hit some serious uh, fire at the end. So just let us know what you guys would prefer. We're good to do whatever, but that's usually what we do. So I'm just going to start that way, and then uh, if we need to make an adjustment, we can. William was asking what you thought of Fauci's first pitch. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> that was a little embarrassing. Gus Varwin, first Bowman. Uh, several rookies there. Anthony K, Abram Toro, and Savell. Has, has anyone seen any news today about where the uh, Toronto's going to play? Because they got shut down at their first try. This, the state wouldn't allow them to come play there and share the stadium. It's pretty interesting. Oh, really? The, Bellinger, the states or the province? I think, well, they're not allowed to play in Canada. Canada oh, yeah, they it. can't cross so they the border. They were trying to play in, in, I can't remember who they were trying to share. Maybe it was Camden Yards or something, and then they said no. So now they don't have a place to play their home games. <laughs> Fortunately, their first series or two are not home, but, man. 
Um, that would be a pretty tough spot. Good yeah, thing they're young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. They have all those sons of former Major League Baseball players that are just coming up. Miguel and Maya. They should be used to traveling then, right? Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, and they're just going to have to set up camp somewhere else, I guess. I mean, that's kind of a bummer for those guys, but... Nick said they're playing at Camden, but is, did you say that... I couldn't remember. I know that they were either got shut down at Camden or they got... Um, or that was where they were going to try next. There's Gerard Encarnacion. He's supposed to be a big one. And there's Robert Pawson. That's a good one, too, for the yeah. A's. So that's a higher value name. Shane Baz. Guys, I got the one touches ready, and I'm really hoping we can use them. Yeah, we, we got to a few times last week on yeah. our break, and so... It's a lot of fun to get to pull those out. We hope yeah. to pull a bunch of them out today. I hope we do. That'd be great. Um, if you guys uh, weren't aware, we do have another break after this. Um, you're welcome, if you're, even if you're not in it. We'd love for you guys to join us and check it out. Uh, we're doing a, the Prism Mega Boxes next. Uh, we got five um, of the XL ones, and we got five of the MJ Holdings ones. Um, they're a little different, but not significantly. They both have a guaranteed autograph in them. Um, they don't have the, the logos, but they are a really fun product. They have the uh, packages of um, refractors in it, or not refractors, I guess they don't call them refractors, but they have the prisms in them, and they're different colors. It's pretty exciting. Um, so if you want to stick around and see that, if you haven't seen much of that product, it is pretty fun. Yeah, Tex, Tex Ash. I don't know Tex Ash's name. It's his handle, but he said May is nasty, but hittable for some reason. Yeah, John not Chuck. so much last night. Yeah, he wasn't <laughs> so bad last night. I think he does get behind in the count sometimes, and he's pretty predictable. But when you throw 100 miles an hour, there is very little margin for error. Oh, speak of the devil, Dustin May. <laughs> and that's a rookie card. That is. Austin Nola, Logan Allen. There we go. There's a paper Dominguez. It's a nice one for the Yanks. Oh, Nick. Um, I think that the timer expired. I'm trying. I'm going to look back here. Julio Rodriguez, Alex Thomas, Lodolo, Toro Saval, and May. Uh, thanks, Nick. I think I think KL ended up taking the Indians, but I definitely appreciate it. First, Volpe first, Rutherford, Trent Grisham, he's supposed to be real good. He's going to start for them, it looks like, and they're projecting him to hit 25 or 30 home runs. That would be just fine. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal. All right, Al's away. Hey, Jim, Sorry. thank you. Uh, Jim, are, are you from Texas, or is that just Background. a nickname? Cunha and Aquino. All right, next box, guys. We always get excited as we get closer and closer to open those mega box yeah, those mojo, mojo packs. refractor packs. Yeah. Those are so fun. We've seen some absolute ridiculous stuff come out, man. I, I don't know if you guys saw this our store, but um, I was breaking. I was in a break with one of my buddies from Utah, and um, I, I ended up just doing a personal ripping ship on a, on a mega box um, to support his channel, and uh, I hit a Dominguez Blue Auto out of the mojo. Pretty cool. It's on my it's on my store right now if you guys want to see it. I had it sent out to BGS and got it graded. It's a, it got a nine and a half, and it's a pretty nice card, so pretty exciting stuff. Jacob Amaya first. That's a crazy oh, sweet. One. You, so, Jim, you do some breaking too. Feel free to to plug your channel too. We're always happy to help other people in the business out, and you know we just love the hobby, so we're not trying to keep yeah, anything man. for ourselves. Yeah, man. You guys all have permission to plug your channels or whatever whatever you do. Even if like you're a a water weller, go ahead and plug your business, man. You never know when you can pick up some some business or some help here, we, and that's what we're here for. We just want to create a community that's good for everybody and everyone uh, ends up winning. 
There's a Beau Bichette. That's a nice car. <laughs> yeah, we like to buy too. We, oh, yeah. That's how we started. <laughs> we both did like participated in our first break this spring when COVID first shut everything down. We're like, man, that was fun. And let's <laughs> yeah. start doing that ourselves. And we've had a great time. Hopefully you guys have fun too. Kyle but, Lewis. Ooh, baby. So Jim, uh, you said you were stationed there. Oh, nice. Whoa, what is that? It's a Dominguez. Oh, this is a just a Bichette, but that's a Dominguez. That's a uh, Chrome Dominguez. Nice, yeah, nice. Dude. Good start for the Yankees spot. Go back to that, Jim. Were, were, were you a military? And if so, which branch? Yeah, that's cool, man. For sure. We always appreciate uh, the men and women who serve our country and make it possible that we have baseball cards to buy and baseball to watch. Yeah, we have lots of luxuries in our lives because of those of you that have served, so certainly appreciate it very, very much. And any of you other guys in here that might have, there, I know there's a lot, of, a lot of people that have served. Navy. Well, thank you, sir. We yes. re really do appreciate you. Absolutely. Austin, Baron Judge. Aaron Judge looks good this year, boys. Andrew Vaughn, watch out for him in a couple of years. Josh Jung and Josh Jung. Yeah, it's so a, funny how often <laughs> that happens. For it you is. Out. Yeah, Judge might hit 40 home runs in this 50 game <laughs> season. <laughs> if you had him and, and Stanton, dude, that lineup is going to be absolutely deadly. That Yankees team is disgusting looking on paper. If they can stay healthy, which in the 60 game season, you would think there's a chance they might. Man, they can, they can make some noise because they're pretty good on the mound, too, if everyone's healthy. Yeah. With Cole and Paxton and, you know, Servino and... Oh, man. Adding Cole. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's crazy. Because you, you bump a number one down to a number two and a number one A down to a number three, and you're pretty much... Yeah. <laughs> set. Yeah. And end up with arguably the best number one in all of baseball. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Arguably, only because we have to say arguably. <laughs> I pretty much feel like it kind of is. There's another Dustin May and Trent Grisham and Savale. Those are that's a pretty good little run of, of rookies there. And we got the Wanderer and uh, Bo Bichette again, so that's never a bad thing. Any of you guys watching baseball on TV right now at the same time as you're watching this, or yeah? Are you tuned in just to us? Fully engaged. <laughs> I thought about streaming the baseball game in the background on the computer screen here, that but was. then I knew I'd be <laughs> ignoring some of my duties. There you go. Yeah. And it's Robert. There we go, boys. The prospect version. Yep. Prospect version versus the rookie version. Both desirable. This one may be slightly less than the other, but still, I don't think whoever has the White Sox is sad about it. The alternative is none whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. have, Tucker, have you seen a, a Mojo Chrome of that version of the Luis Robert or Luis Robert? I'm trying to think of which which one comes in there. I think that's the one that comes in there because it's the prospect one, and the only prospect set is in there. But I'm not positive. Actually, I can't remember. I remember seeing a subset of him, I think. it Was, was yeah. it a Spanning the Globe? or Yeah, a... Spanning the Globe. But I don't actually remember. I, I mean, we've opened so many, I'm sure we probably have had it before, but I just can't picture it in my mind. Junior Fernandez, rookie. Nick Bennett, first Bowman. You know, watching the Giants last night... Um, Mauricio Dubon is an athletic guy, and apparently they have him playing as kind of like an everyday but utility guy, working around the diamond, playing all different positions, which is pretty interesting. That'll keep him in the big leagues for a long time. And he's in here too, another rookie that's going to get a lot of playing time this year, it looks like, assuming he stays healthy and COVID-free. Yeah, most importantly, COVID-free, <laughs> even if you don't have symptoms. Yeah, even if you're Juan Soto and you're test negative two times immediately after testing positive <laughs> with no symptoms. It's an interesting situation for sure. Justin Dunn, Cardenas first. Yeah, Tony, uh, are you a Braves fan or 
I think that's the only game that's actively running right now. Baez, the Merit. You might have heard the baseball game go playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> My kids are watching the baseball game in the other room and open the door, so. Oh, there's a Joe Dell. I like Joe Dell. Yeah, he's starting in center field this oh, year, isn't he? Oh, another Chrome Dominguez. Ooh, nice. Nice. Woo-wee. The Dominguez and Yankee spot is feeling it today. Kyle. Already, man. Hopefully we have some more of this love in the mojos. I hope somebody hits a big old auto today. I would love to see something fire, like some sort of gold. Absolutely. Out of you know, 50 or something, yeah. 10 or some crazy low maybe, number. Maybe a Dominguez or a Witt or a Adele or Possum. Robert or Possum or is that cat from the Rangers that I can't remember his yeah, name? Yeah, I can't remember, remember reason. his name. Um, I'll remember it. There's Gus Garland first, Glenn Allen Hill Jr. first, Bausevich first, De La Cruz first. Oh man, sorry, Tony. Tony's a season ticket holder for the Braves, but. Of course, oh. sitting at home. Did you pay to have your picture put into the stands? <laughs> <laughs> cardboard cutout. Is there a cardboard cutout we can look for, Tony? <laughs> there's, there's COVID right there, Mr. Soto. Yeah. Alvarez. Pretty sure he'll survive. Lede, there's a wit. Nice, nice. Wit paper. Man, he looked good in his uh, limited action in the Ooh. summer training. Man, I liked watching him, man. I, I hope he comes up sooner than later. A lot of these guys, these young prospects, it's so hard to keep stay patient. Like, I feel like I want to see him play right now. I don't want to wait until next year or even two weeks when they can do it without a year of service. I don't think he'll be up this year, but, man, he made it to the last day. He played in the last inning of the last summer camp game. So, I don't know. We'll see. I don't even know if he's on the roster or not. I, I would imagine he's not, but I don't know. He showed so well against some really tough arms. It would be interesting to see what they do with him. <laughs> I don't blame you, Tony. I, I wouldn't have paid for my cardboard cutout to watch the game in my seat either. <laughs> it would just make me jealous of my own cardboard cutout. It just makes me mad for sure. Kyle Lewis again. This Kyle Lewis, the Mariners are doing all right here. I think he's going to be good. Damon Jones. Yeah. He, they played mostly inter-squad games, but we're from the Northwest, Mariners fans, and he has some power and oh. some speed. Kyle Lewis. His power to the opposite field is so impressive. I mean, he hit. We were watching their little. They only play five innings because they play against each other, so they can't. They don't have enough pitching to go, you know, nine innings with both both teams using their pitching staff. But he hit a home run to right field. He's a right-handed hitter. He hit <laughs> opposite way a million miles last night. And Tucker, Kyle said to go ahead and keep those Dominguez cards coming. Ooh, nice. Oh, I thought he was going to say just to keep them, and I was going <laughs> <laughs> to... Go ahead and ship everybody but the Dominguez's. <laughs> I've got lots of Glaber Torres base... Or I guess that's the wrong team. i got a lot of uh, Tim Anderson base cards I'll send you. Luckily, <laughs> hitting. He's a good player, man. <laughs> we'll just call that good. Oh, no, Dominguez. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Hey, hey, Kyle, did you happen to see that? video that they put out here a couple of days that showed Mr. Dominguez's bat speed and the sound of the, the wood bat. It sounded like it was going to explode when he hit that ball. Yeah, someone posted to Twitter him taking some BP, and it sounds like a cannon went off when he makes contact. And he does not look 17. No. He's a monster. He is absolutely enormous. Yeah, I would hate to know. If he has more maturing to do, I... Marlin hate to think about what he's going to look like. I mean, I don't know exactly how tall he is. I want to say he's like 6'1 or 6'2, but he basically looks like Zion. Yeah, his, his <laughs> upper body was huge. Yeah, no kidding. Like He's, I mean, he's a monster. It, you know, seeing that video, it's no wonder that people are so excited about him. Yeah, for real. Yeah, no kidding. I told Tucker, I was like, man, could you imagine facing that guy as a junior in high school this year? <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. I was a pitcher... Well, I played both, but I was mostly a pitcher. There we go. Um, and I think that would be intimidating. And he's a switch hitter, I guess, too. He's He's got a chance to be some serious, silly, good. Bayo. Yeah, being signed by the Yankees, of course, lots of 
hobby love and the state of New York and the city of New York for well, for the Yankees. The whole United States, really, because there's Yankees fans everywhere you go. In fact, when we go to Mariners games, there's more Yankees fans than there are Mariners fans. Yeah, it's crazy. What was I saying? Huffing at Adley, paper. Yeah, you Tucker. Like yeah, if you, I'm sure that you guys that have been with us before know, but Tucker got to be around young Adley Rutschman. Yeah, his, his dad was uh, a coach. He kind of he played a little bit when I was playing for the Nike team in, in Oregon. Um, but he was the nicest guy I ever met, and Abby was just a little guy. He, he could barely walk around, but he had, his, he had a catcher's helmet on always and a catcher's glove on his hand that he could barely walk around with from the time he could walk. So he's, it's been a long time coming for him. There's a nice bolty, too. The Yankee spot is not letting you down in these base packs, I'll tell you what. It's a good way to start. Yeah, no kidding. Take a little heat off the later part. Yeah, if it looks as good in the mojo packs as it has in the base packs, you can <laughs> plan on a very good day. Yeah, that's for sure, Johnson. There's uh, Pereira first for the Yankees again. Xavier Edwards first, and another Pereira first for the Yankees. There's a Yordan finally. Yeah. I wonder when we're going to see him. Hopefully he's okay. I don't know. It, it, he's been held out with an undisclosed... Something like he's not even there. I don't know what is going on, but yeah, I've been curious about that. I've been looking for him with the end of season that he had last year. I'm just really excited to see what he's going to do this year. And so I'm really he's hoping okay. it's not, hopefully, it's not like some sort of serious injury or something, yeah. or serious illness. But all right, box number nine, guys. I haven't been doing a good job of saying it out loud, but this is uh, box nine. So we got a couple more, and then we get, we'll have 20 packs of Mojo Refractors, which is pretty exciting, if you ask me. Yeah, my son got to open a, a Mojo box. He actually videoed it and put it on our YouTube channel, if you guys want to check it out. But... <laughs> He was very excited about two Mojo Packs, so this is 20. He's actually sitting in here with us because he loves baseball cards and loves playing baseball, so he's hanging out with us. There's Madrigal, there's a uh, Duran for the Red Sox, that's nice, a Rosarina, and then uh, another Lux and uh, wow. combo, back to back packs. Nice, so it's always a nice combo to see. They always come back to back. In the, in the larger packs where there's more cards, you typically will also get a Aquino. But these, these ones don't have enough uh, base uh, paper cards on either side to quite hit that combination. But if you get into the larger, regular retail packs, and there's, there's four, in four cards, you get all three of those guys. You get Jordan, Lux, and Aquino. Pretty cool. Jazz Chisholm. Oh, there's John Diaz. He's get, he gets a lot of love right now. So, so Jordan, Jordan is headed to join the team, Chris? Is that how I'm understanding that? I hope so. That's awesome news if it is, Chris. If you know anything about it, that'd be great if you'd let us know what's going on. Because I, I actually have quite, we have quite a collection of, of uh, Jordan. And I'd be interested to know what's going on. Oscar Gonzalez. Yeah, we're pretty excited about his potential after the half season that he played last year. Yeah. But. Chris said that he's headed to their alternate facility, but the Astros never said what the deal was. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. Well, at least he's headed back, I guess. Lots of rookies there. Murphy, Gratterall, and uh, Collins. So, Rizard Gratterall is interesting because he's in a Twins uniform, but I mean, he's pitching for the Dodgers, and I think it's because he actually failed a physical for the Twins and came back to the Dodgers. And then he was on the bump last night, pumping 100 miles an hour, so he must be okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever he failed on the physical, his arm is not failing him. But. Apparently it didn't stop him from throwing 100 miles an hour and giving up no runs last night. <laughs> yeah, knowing the Astros, they're probably cheating in some way. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> they're trying... I think he's. I think they're have him in a facility and they're cloning him so that they can have an entire lineup of Jordan Alvarez's in the near him future. They're cloning him, saving a lot of international pool money <laughs> so that they can sign him over and over again. <laughs> Trading draft picks for international money so they can just keep getting Jordan without drafting. That would be brilliant. Yeah, Chris. Chris said, "Young slugger Jordan Alvarez, righty." 
Jose Urquide and Southpaw CNL Perez have all been cleared to resume training with the club. Sweet. So, um, yeah, that's exciting. It, make, it halfway makes you wonder if he tested positive for COVID and they're just not wanting to disclose it. it. Yeah. Justin Dunn, Dylan Cease, rookies. <laughs> Don't want their whole team to be out. That's interesting. Um, huh. That's way too many cards, which is fine. Um, but the weird... An extra Dylan Cease there. Yeah, really weird there. There's only supposed to be 10, 6, 7, 8. There's still only 10 cards. That's weird. One was just turned upside down. Yeah, and it was this duplicate, too. Yeah, Here. can't even blame it on being a short print. Too oh, bad it wasn't a, a, yeah, too bad it wasn't a, like a platinum printing plate or something like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Pete Alonso, there's another Luis paper. Pash, um, Pache and Green, oh, they're decent. Let me see, there's another Trout base. Pile those up just all day long and not be too sad about it. Did, did Gavin Lux end up getting sit, sent down? I don't know. They, I had heard he did, but then he was in the game that, that the next day. So I don't know if that was just a rumor or if that happened. Does anyone know what's going on with Lux? I know he didn't have a good – he wasn't doing well. He wasn't showing well. There's a school bar on Julio Rodriguez. But uh, he was projected to start at second. Uh, but then Kike Hernandez started. And, of course, he went four for five last night <laughs> with a home run. So I don't think he's going down. There we go, guys. 20 – Mega packs. Good luck, everybody. We're going to start ripping these things. Yeah, this is where the good stuff comes. Let's find some autographs and stuff in here, some color. Let's do all of that. Colton Welker. Zach Brown. There's, speak of the devil. Yeah, Mr. Alvarez, Mr. Alvarez right there. there. With the rookie of your favorites card. Mikhail said Lux is down. Okay. Yeah, that, I had heard that was going to happen, but I... It was weird because they said he got sent down, but then literally the next day he was he got at bats. So I don't know. They were, I heard he was sent to the other alternate camp or whatever they're calling it. But anyway, yeah, I think he'll get a chance this year. It's just a matter of you know getting things right. I hope and he'll be all right. There's another rookie Yankee, Dave yeah. Garcia. Wander. Any, yeah. Anybody that played baseball knows that it's very easy to have five or six bad games, and when that's, you know, all you get. that's all you get, then you know the next five or six he could have hit 750 with five home runs and looked like the world. So it's a tough situation to be in. It's the nice thing about the traditional spring training season, a little sure. bit longer. Yeah, for sure. It's tough. It's you could either make yourself look really good or make yourself look not quite so much, and it's just such a short time. There's Kyle Lewis, we like him up here in, Se in the Seattle area. Not that we're associated with Seattle, but we're on the east side of the state. Yeah. We are in Washington. We will not cough on our computer and give you COVID. <laughs> I promise. Oh, there's a Vargas first. Pereira first for the Yankees, of course. Casey Mize. Oh, the Apostle, that's nice. That's a good one, too. Yeah. And Amaya first. So that was good Dodgers pack. Two, two firsts of the Dodgers and the... Some good, some good stuff there. No, no color or, or autos yet. Let's see. Oh, there's clinic. We like that. Ooh, pink and purple. Ooh, is one of those the, the is hell? the pink one one of the rookie of the year favorites or is that? It looks like it's a different shade, but I guess it could be. No, it's not. It's weird. We got two colors in one pack. There we go. I'm not gonna complain. Yeah, the the nice thing is is if you go a couple this packs first without. One is, ooh, Alec Baum. That's a good one. Yeah. He's a good one. He's getting at bats. He, he could. That's out of two. It's number fifteen, out of two fifty. Hmm. Wonder what's what this is. pink one. Yu Chang out of one ninety nine, and Yu Chang had a good spring too, or I guess you'd call it summer. See this. We've had, run into a few of these. This one has weird. Um, it looks like it's. I don't know if if that's just the way that the light comes off it, or that's how it was printed. But it looks like it's missing some pink, in a couple areas, but. Nevertheless, nice card there. We'll get that sleeved up for you. Yeah, let's let's continue the two colored cards per pack. <laughs> I think yeah. everybody would be just fine with that. I think we could go and do some more of that. Um, if you guys haven't broke with us before, just we haven't said it yet, but all cards will ship, and we will get them out as soon as we can. Um, we do have other jobs. We do have young families. 
um, but we will get them out to you and you will have tracking numbers um, it won't be too long so um, if you have questions or concerns always feel free to message us um, hopefully you will like and uh, subscribe to our channel I hope you're having a good time Josh Jum nice one Leo and Maya of course your favorite Gavin Lux speak of the devil which we like Pache is a really good one there's a real bear yeah. so, so yeah. far there's the question answered <laughs> yeah there it is there's what we were looking for which one what, which card was it going to be so it's the prospect one I thought that's what it would be but I just couldn't remember question. seeing it before and we, like you said we've opened a lot of this so I'm sure we have but I just couldn't remember it I, and maybe we have I mean it's possible we haven't it's just anything's really possible when it comes to this stuff we just saw two colored cards in one pack. We saw two of the same dude in this in the one pack. It's just weird stuff that happens. There's Kalinic again. Josh Jum. Andrew Puck, who got put on the injured list again with his shoulder, which is starting to be a little bit concerning, I would guess, that his injury in spring training was that. And then he had all this time to get healed up and then it comes back. Maya, Christian Robinson, Ronaldo Hernandez, Fanny McGill, Sheridan Apostle again, that's a good one, and out Maya again, that's a good one too. It's always fun to get the first Bowman cards because then in five years when they finally are old enough to buy a cigarette, <laughs> <laughs> you can find out <laughs> what kind of prospect you actually got. JJ Bleday, Dunning, Dylan Cease, Aaron Ashby first, and a Volpe first also nice staying with the theme of the Yankees I'm sure Kyle would prefer that that was a Dominguez but <laughs> you know I can't say I blame him Terang Khalil Gomez Ramos I don't know why I said Gomez that's so weird Mount Castle and Carlson all right, let's we're due for some color or auto here, I think, don't you? Yeah, I agree. Okay. Maybe two autos in one pack. Let's see what we got here. Miguel Vargas, Munoz, Amaya. Oh, Bobby Witt Jr. If it uh, went that's one a good more, one. If it went one more card, you would have seen Jason Dominguez. So maybe the next oh, pack might have it. But if Dominguez is on the bottom, you got a Bobby Witt in front of it. That's how these things roll out. Um, so that was close, but still really nice for the Royals. Good for you, Royals. Nice and I one. believe Kyle has the Royals as well, doesn't he? I think so. I think that's right. Yeah. Kyle, you got both, don't you, buddy? Ooh, there's Pereira, wrong Yankee. Jean Diaz, that's nice. Justin Dunn, would be your favorite. Kraus and Mata. All right, here we go. Let's get in a color or a something like that. Um, yeah. Here we, we got go. an auto here, boys. That's going to be exciting. Who will it be? Singer. And they turned the other cards upside down. Yeah, I know. It's really weird. That's what alerted me to what was going on here. Joe Ryan, Joe Ryan for the Tampa Bay. So that's our auto, one of the autos here. Hopefully we get some more. But nice card, good job. Congratulations to you, Tampa. If he ends up like Nolan Ryan, people will be pretty happy. <laughs> yeah. I think the odds are a little bit long on that. I don't think there's ever been anybody like Nolan before or, or since him. Or very close to him, really. <laughs> Cards are thick. The, the autos in these are pretty thick, and so they, I don't want to push on it too hard because I don't want to damage it. But it's a nice looking card. Autos in the box, so that's good. Yeah, it looks like the autos in good condition. Uh, yes, sir. So there we go. Let's get some more stuff. Terang, Austin Beck, Nico. I don't think we've seen much of Nico today. No. Ooh, another Volpe. That's nice for the Yankees again. Oh, Kyle. Kyle. Sure that you'd rather that those were bowls, <laughs> Dominguez's. Not just the first one, but also the second one. But 
consolation prize at least. Absolutely. And man, Dominguez is 17. You never know. Yeah, Kyle pointed out that he was wondering where all the wit, wit cards were. I don't recall seeing maybe a paper in the in the bases. Yeah, there was a paper one. I didn't see anything else. Cardenas there's an Xavier Edwards. That's nice. Here's on Toro. Another Volpe. Man, I think that's three of the Mojo Volpes, which is pretty crazy. I mean, I don't think the odds are that good of getting three of them, even in 20 packs, but could be worse for sure. All right. Oh, we got color. Got a pink. Holter and, then, Holter and Rutledge first Bowman. That's good. Dylan Carlson and Alec Baum. That's good. What do we got? Gus Varwin. First Bowman out of 199. It's never bad. Looks like it's fairly well centered too. Some of these get a little bit cockeyed and weird um, on the cuts. I think it's probably because of how thick this stock is. But that one's really nice. So Gus Varwin. And A's prospects somehow seem to always make it. <laughs> It's crazy how good they are at drafting. Yeah. We'll make sure these get in there good before we ship them, guys. Don't worry about that. Just in the interest of time, I'm just going to make sure they're in there and protected, and then we'll get them. Yeah, we always, by the end. always put a little piece of tape over the top so that the cards don't slide out in transit. Not that those ones look like they're any kind of risk yeah. for sliding All out. Right. But. Or in team bags, yeah. Yeah. So we got a few left. We still got three left. We're looking for some more colors, some autos. Let's do this. Nova. Bonger. That's a nice one. Yeah. Another Yankee. There's uh, Cabello, uh, first Bowman. And Aaron Ashby, first Bowman. Tampa Bay, man. Not bad. A little auto. A few Wanders. Not bad. Not bad at all. Another Tampa. Cardenas first. Xavier Edwards first. Dunn. Those are your favorites. Another Luis Robert. Mojo. And a Christian Javier. All right. Last pack magic, y'all. Good luck to everybody. Like we said before, uh, we are going live again with a separate video uh, with the Prism. And just a, you know, at two o'clock or three o'clock, I'm sorry, uh, Pacific time. So depending on where you are, that kind of will. Oh, we got a, we got color. So that's a good good way to end this thing. Holzer and Rutledge, and Bajarski first Bowman and Blazevich first Bowman. So all first Bowman so far. Maybe the color will be too. What do we got? Oh yeah, Gerard Encarnacion number one hundred out of one fifty. And if that isn't a perfect card. That looks very nice. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. It, I honestly don't know that, I mean, just from the naked eye, it's a, maybe a touch heavy on the top, but like centering wise and just clarity wise and sharpness, that is a clean, clean card. So whoever got the Marlins, I'm sure you got a good deal on it. That's a nice card because he's one of the He's one of the you know more valuable cards in terms of what they're saying in um, the publications about what's worth what. So that's a nice card. Out of 150, it's number 100. Gerard Encarnacion is supposed to be a power hitter. He's young. Um, he's 6'4", by the way. 6'4", 219. I guess he'll be 23 in, in October, but um, power hitting prospect for the Marlins. That's a good one. Hey guys, thank you so much. Please like the video and subscribe if you if you had a good time. Um, even if you didn't, it would still be really nice of you. Um, but <laughs> anyway, uh, we hope you have a good day. A happy opening day to everybody. And hopefully we'll catch you on the prison break, whether you're in it or not. Um, we enjoy the company. And, and as always, thank you so much for filling this up. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good weekend. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for the, the chat. Appreciate it. It was nice meeting those of you that were new and nice seeing you guys back that came back and hope to see you again real soon.